Okay, so Harris, he's uh, getting some drinks right now at the gas station. He's driving like a complete maniac. I need to get to uh, Dubrovnik as soon as possible. We're off to Dubrovnik now, let's go. Yes, finally, I'm in the ferry, ferry to Bari. We left from Dubrovnik about uh, two hours ago and right now I'm about to uh, crash. It was quite stressful today. Traveling is stressful sometimes, but hey, sometimes you have to uh, suffer to uh, <laughs> get to the good things. I suppose. Anyways, big thanks to uh, Daniele and Alessandra, two Italians who I met on the ferry. They gave me food and they were really nice. They uh, educated me a lot on how to survive in Italy. Their first rule was don't mention food, talk with your hands. And uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, ching ching, which means cheers, apparently. But yeah, leaving the Balkan behind. Hello Italy, hello again, Western world. <laughs> it's gonna be good. And in just seven hours, I crossed the Adriatic Sea from Dubrovnik, Croatia, all the way to Bari. Italy. Now don't get me wrong, I thought long and hard about what music to use for when I arrived in Italy. So basically I took uh, the wrong stop with the metro and I'm in the Italian ghetto. Great, everything for the experience, right? 50 minute walk to the Airbnb. Let's do it, always stay positive. Finally, my God. I could have been here from Napoli to, uh, to here in like 30 minutes, something like that. Took me one and a half hours. It's all about the experience. So right now this is my room, which is, it's a really good room actually. It's got the Vesuvio room. Uh, you could probably already guess why. I got the Vesuvius right out of my window. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my evening. Go get some groceries. And yeah, tomorrow I'm going to uh, Napoli, Naples. So that's gonna be cool as well. An important rule when you go into railing, always make sure you have cash on you. Wanted to get a pizza here, but they didn't accept cash. I'm gonna be starving. <laughs> but I got some snacks, so it's not that bad. Anyways, I'm home. Here we go. Wait. Nope, wrong gate. Never mind. All right, time to eat some pizza in Naples. One metro ride later, I ticked off the 18th city of the trip, Napoli, which in Latin is New City. I decided to make food my first priority. Some friends recommended me to go to a pizzeria called Da Michele, but when I arrived there, I saw this. Yeah, there was no way I was going to wait for more than an hour for pizza for them to eat it sitting on the pavement. So what did I do? I turned around and got myself a table at the restaurant across the street ordered a margarita and a peroni and enjoyed looking at the line across the street that was getting longer and longer every minute. My pizza was phenomenal by the way, hands down the best I've ever had. After that I walked around for a few hours in Naples before calling it a day and taking the metro back to Santa Maria la Carita. Zone, 
Yes, all right. Good morning from Santa Maria la Carita in Italy. Today is the day that I'm going to explore the ruins of Pompeii. Last night I went to Naples, great city, very chaotic of course. Had some great pizza, but now I am going to do what was the main reason for coming here for me. And that was exploring Pompeii. So let's do it. See you there. Alright guys, I'm in Pompeii right now, in the ancient ruins. I hope I can capture enough of it and do it justice. That's going to be a pretty difficult job. Also, if you're ever going yourself, make sure to go at the opening time. It's, a, it's 9 right now. There aren't a lot of people. It's not very crowded at 9. So yeah, anyways, I'm off exploring and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya. Seeing the ruins of Pompeii was the main reason of staying in southern Italy for me. Walking through these devastated ruins was so surreal, especially the first 30 minutes were strangely magical since I was completely on my own there. Again, when you're going yourself, go as early as possible. It was a scorching hot day though, so when it did start to get really crowded, I luckily had seen all of the ruins by then and decided to leave Pompeii behind. Come on. Hello. Hello. What the hell? Yo. There we go. Finally. My God. Let's see how long it takes to close this thing. No, close. Please. Oh my God. All right. Close. Yes. Finally. Okay. We can go. All right. Last day in Southern Italy. I am moving to Rome in uh, about three hours. First of all, you gotta start off the day with a good breakfast. Not bad. So yeah, it's goodbye to this view. You have to actually go through three doors to get to the balcony. It's goodbye to this view right here, unfortunately. Pompeii yesterday was amazing. The pizza I had in Naples was uh, as amazing, probably. So yeah, I hope Rome is going to be equally as uh, cool as uh, Naples and uh, Southern Italy. So yeah, excited and uh, see you there. You feel like summer days to me, warm tender sunny rays. I hope that we are meant to be. And like that, I left Naples behind me and made my way to arguably the most astonishing city on this planet, Rome. Thanks for watching, see you next episode. All right, guys, I have woken up at four o'clock in the morning to explore Rome. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those guys here. Yeah. I want it all to myself. All right, so I'm at the Piazza Venezia right now, as you can see. I also met a friend from Australia. Say hello to Josh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue our route through Rome and uh, hope to see some more of these uh, amazing sights. So let's go. Our thoughts and some dust dreams And we seem to find common ground Guess everyone's got their own sound I never cared much about food